nice is it to be out here by the event? What's it like here? You know, it seems like there's a lot more time for golf than like coaching. Yeah, too much time. I mean, he's taking my money, his handicaps down to single digits. I mean, retirement's been good to him so far. You've been the athletic director here not even a year, and you got to hire a basketball coach and a football coach in two of the highest revenue sports. Are you excited that you're kind of the leader of a new era here at Maryland Athletics? Well, you know, it... Uh, it's twofold. It saddens me, particularly hearing I have a great relationship, and I love to watch to go to practice. I, I love to go to practice with him, watch him coach. So I, I won't get any more of that. But I'm very excited that Mark Turgeon is our new uh, head, head basketball coach, and I look forward to going to practice and seeing him do what he does. And then uh, I've already been on a spring football practice with Randy Ellerson, and I mean he's doing a tremendous job. So I think the future looks bright for both uh, football and basketball, both basketballs. I love working with Brenda Freeze. She's a tremendous coach as well. Any thoughts on the lacrosse game yesterday? Did you get to go and do uh, even though they lost pretty much a successful season for John Tomlinson? Well, you know, I was back and forth, uh, back from Stony Brook and then out to Baltimore following both teams, and it was a shame. Both teams had fantastic seasons, and, uh, you know, they just came up a little bit short, and, you know, you hate to see your kids lose and have to go through that, but I'm extremely proud of how they fought and what they've gone through all year and that uh, it was a fantastic season. You know, the championship would have been just the ultimate uh, climax to it, but, you know, uh, we'll accept uh, we were the second best team in this country, and so uh, there's something to say about that as well. Fans, they've all heard what's going on at the Howard State of Jim First of all, can you just comment on that? But more importantly, how important is it for you as an athletic director? I ask Gary this. How proud is it that Maryland isn't really involved in these kind of things? You never hear Maryland out there getting bad rap. Gary kind of changed that with Maryland basketball. So how important is it going forward that you stay that kind of country? Well, first of all, Jim Trestle is a friend of mine, and he's a good man, and you hate to see anybody go through that. Uh, Gene Smith is an outstanding athletic director who's the uh, athletic director of Ohio State. So, you know, um, I guess what that tells you, that it could happen anywhere because those are two great people, and they run tremendous programs, and something like this comes up, and it's, it's a sad day for college athletics, particularly it's a sad day to see my friends have to go through the pain and agony that they're going through. Kevin Plank's out here playing. A lot of fans, they, they, want, they want Maryland to maybe be the Oregon the East, you know, with all the crazy uniform combinations and having a, having a donor like Kevin Plank. Is it important for you, too, to kind of put Maryland on a map, but they're known as the Under Armour School, like the Under Armour School, and maybe it can be attractive to recruits and other people to come here to Maryland? Well, I believe that uh, what we're doing with Under Armour and Kevin Plank has been the catalyst to it. It's going to be unique to college athletics, and particularly from a uniform aspect. Um, comparing ourselves to uh, Nike in Oregon, because Maryland is on the map, and Maryland's been a, a strong, great program. Uh, Nike, I mean, the University of Oregon struggled in Eugene until Nike came aboard and became partners. And, you see uh, what that partnership has done for the University of Oregon. So I think uh, with us teaming with Under Armour and Kevin Plank, uh, we're going to do even better uh, things here and become great. Uh, I expect to see different, different football uniform companies in every um, I think that uh, you will be happy and most fans will be pleased because we will have uh, uh, different uniforms and uh, I think the captains will be uh, held uh, accountable for whatever uniforms you wear during uh, any particular Saturday. Thanks, good luck. Thank you.